Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky and we are here in Goddess Mode to look at our map. Now I think we need to just explore this area up here. We don't have a lot of railroad tracks left but I figured I might as well use what we have going northward and making a train line up this way. So what I think I want to do is just kind of put my mouse pointer here. Is that a good spot? Can we, um, let's change this blueprint to the straight ones. Let's just make sure. Yes, we're going right between those two lines. We'll just add this down there and go back in walking mode and let our bots add all the stuff that we can. So we wanted to go between these two. That's going to be absolutely perfect. Now in this kind of area, we need to make a junction and I guess this is kind of the best time to do this. Let's choose a, um, a science topic and um, we'll we'll get on with the rest of it. Let's see rocket control units, character logistics, oh all the stuff. Covarex is always a good thing to get and it's only purple science it's not even yellow. Um, that sounds really promising of course there's cargo size of the bots. Is there anything we need emergently? Nuclear fuel reprocessing is always really good. Beacons we can use later. Automation three. Breaking force and sort of capacity. All the stuff, all the things. And we'll need modules eventually. I think we're going to go for Cover X. Yes. Hail Cover X, the king of Factorio. Awesome. Or the god of Factorio, perhaps. He's the one who created this awesome game. Well, uh, I think he came up with the concept and then lots of other people have helped him create this because it's an awesome dev team. Anyway, what we want to do is connect these in a three-way junction. So we have usually what happens is a straight line and then you have a one coming off the side of it. So what I like to do is I like to get out my 90 degree turns. I do have this junction right here, but we don't, uh, we're not going to use it right now. We're going to use our I don't, well, maybe we don't need the exact 90 degree turns because we want to have a little bit of space here. So let's take this down and then we can ghost plan this to kind of go this way. If that's too far, we can go a little bit closer like this. I think that's the right way. So we're, we're doing right hand drive. We're going on the right side here and then that's going the other way. So this one is going to go up into this side. Um, and then this one is going to go down into that side and then we'll do the rest in just a moment. Okay. It's a little bit uneven. Okay. So now we need to shift plan this one. There we go to go there. Okay. So that's one set done. That's connecting to this line. Now we need to connect to these lines. So we'll get our thingy here and probably now we can use our 90 degree turn this i love to just make this this is really easy to make on the ground if you need to you'll have one of these and just click it and then do this and then you can remove this and then make a blueprint of this part the problem is is that the blueprints often uh or the when you're doing the ghost rail placement it doesn't want to do this um, so that's why I always keep one in my blueprint book for that particular purpose. And I just plop it down when necessary and then put one on this side. This is so that trains going on this line can go up and then from this way they can go down here. So we're connecting both with both things and that works out. Now signaling is extremely important here. What we want to make sure of, and you can see here is that this is all one block at the moment. That's way too many um, tracks in one block. We want to have it so that trains can pass by each other because at the moment trains cannot even go this direction and this direction at the same time because it is in one block. So what we want to do is split that up. Now anytime you have a cross you always use a chain signal. So here you see this is crossing these things. It's not merging, so it's crossing. So we want to put a chain signal there. Okay, it's going to blink for a bit, but we're, we're okay with this. Now um, here, since we there's no space for a chain signal here, so we have to put it up here, but that's going to cover this cross. Okay, um, now this one, um, let's see. Yep, going down there, that's gonna cover that one. Oh, we may need more space here, actually, now that I'm looking at this. Yeah, th this cross here is gonna be covered by this thing, but I think we need more space. 
Uh, maybe. No, I guess we can put a regular one afterward. Anyway, um, what we can do here, though, is put a regular signal after the cross so that once the train passes by, it allows um, this block to be freed up. Now, the only time you don't want to do this is if you're going immediately into another one of these um, interchanges because if a train gets stuck in an interchange down here then it could be blocking here if it's a very long train so just be aware of that particular um, way of doing things all right so let's make sure that we have the uh, regular signal on the back of the other areas here so that one actually we don't need that one there what that one is that covered by this one here um, and I think that's kind of all we need to do. We need to probably just put this one here because there's not a lot of, I mean, unless we want to put signals here, here, and there, which is not really necessary. This is okay to have in its own block here because, um, well, that we would want to do, let's see, but there's the thing, the issue here is just, there's not enough spaces for signals. So we're going to have to just live with that the way it is. We can put one here to shorten this a little bit. Um, and then one here again to shorten the whole thing. We can move that one and then this one can go here. And I think that's, that's pretty good. Yep. That will work for us. But remember, if you are right next to another junction, like here, like right there, make sure you put these guys as chain signals so that the train does not block the thing. The, the thing with chain signals is that this uh, signal looks ahead to the next signal. And if I have a locomotive on here, let me see if I can make a couple of cars and just demonstrate this. We're going to pretend this is the back end of a train here. So you'll notice all the signals are green right now. But if I put the car over here, this one says, oh, no, 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 no. You know, that signal is red. The train engine has to stop here like like this. It has to stop. Um, and the reason this is important is that if this is blocked up for some reason, you don't want this guy blocking this road of traffic and therefore blocking this entire rail here. So that's why you want chain signals to look ahead and say, oh, okay, that there, this one is blocked. That block is used. We can't go there. And that's what chain signals do. They just literally look ahead to the next signal and see if it's used. And if there are two paths coming from it, the chain signal will turn blue, meaning that one path is blocked or at least one path is blocked and at least one path is free. Uh, and you'll see that happen when you have like um, stations where um, you have big parking lots uh, for trains and they, um, you know, some are taken up. So you'll have this blue chain signal there. All right. We have, wow, Covarex enrichment process is done. Oh, we can get atomic bombs. Those are really good against biters. Well, we need rocket control units first. Okay, fine. We'll get those. Rocket control units are part of space science. So that's a very exciting thing to get. You can see our number of rails here. And I think we're probably at the end of that. Yep. So bots, ready? Let's go. I guess we can try to take the car and see if it's faster to go home. Oh, we should have taken the train actually, but we probably, I'm wondering if I should just, um, <laughs> revamp this area and take the train home. We can, oh, well, we don't have enough tracks now. Okay. We'll come back through here and then we'll take that back. So I think that's going to work a little bit better. All right. That was interesting. <laughs> There's a bot waiting. It's fine, bot. Just come back later. It's a little bit frustrating because it's like I can't get the thing right on the correct thing to go exactly, um, you know, left. Oh, geez. Rocks. That's what we need. We need a setting for rocks. <laughs> like, have zero rocks on the map or something. I don't need them. It's fine. Oh, okay. Stopping. Okay, let's find the bots. Come on, bots. Give me stuff. I'm ready. Load up my coffers. I am ready for it. 
Did I set up a condition on that battery maker? I think I did. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. We probably don't need 2,000 walls, though. Wow, we're getting all kinds of stuff. This is awesome. Very cool. I think I'm going to auto-trash the wood. Down to zero, please. And I think that's it. Yeah. One of the reasons I don't... Um... Oh, wow. Lots of railroad tracks. Awesome. Woohoo. One of the reasons I don't handcraft is I come back here and I get thousands and thousands and thousands of things. It's much easier than trying to carry around, like hundreds of, of iron plates and copper plates and green circuits and things and stuff. Much easier just to do it this way. So, all right, we're ready to go again. Let's go. This is good. We're, I feel like we're making really excellent progress on this. Okay, rocket control units are done. I should have already uh, researched the atomic bomb. Uh, and we might need the nuclear fuel reprocessing after that. Let's see. I kind of should have built a station here already, but I feel like it would be undefended. So, oh wait, didn't we have a car over here somewhere? No? Oh, there it is. Yes. I guess we'll have to pick up that bot on the way back. Uh, it's like, no, no. Come on, this way. Let's go find the lonely bot. There he is. All right, come on, bot. Hurry up. Look at this. He's still doing his duty and repairing us. That's nice. I'm gonna go back this way. And I think we're gonna reconfigure that area down here first and put some maybe some extra turrets around it and just have a continuous train line through the thing. Because at the moment we really don't need anything it provides. I mean the regular ammo is not ideal. Oh geez, really? No! <laughs> oh man. Okay. Let's grab this and just pretty much delete all this stuff in here. I don't know if it's necessary to delete the... Yeah, even this. Oh boy. All right, gun turrets are not welcome in my thing, apparently. They're going to wait. Let's get this. Ah. Okay. That's good. Roboport down. In many ways, I really like that this is a hot bar and not inventory. It's so much easier to get things organized. All right, the bots are gonna have to wait here. Let's get this out again. Let's completely remove this. No, oh, can't put away. Hey, why is inventory full? I thought we had a hand for this kind of thing. No, oh, that's silly. That's not right. That is not right at all. Okay, these things could use a power pole to connect them. And this one. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put in a whole bunch of laser turrets right here and use a substation to power them. And this should, I hope, deal with things. Where are the substations? Oh, I always lose them here. All right, better. That's fine. And then this side, if anything tries to come in here, it's well within the, um, the radius of these um, turrets here. Okay, looking really good. Now we'll go and walk toward our place where we're going north. Yeah, this is just silly now. <laughs> this is really undefended. But thank goodness there's really not a lot of, uh, of biter nests around here anymore. I think we're pretty good on that. All right, bots, let's go. Keep building. It's time. We're ready for it. Let's go. Keep on building now. Get our quick, quick book. Our rail. The thing about it is, my rails book is divided into two books. I have to check out how the game is with the rail books now, 
if I can have multiple of the same blueprints within um, the the library or not. But we'll find out soon enough, I guess. Okay, let me just recharge all the bots so they don't like all limp back. That would be quite silly. Oh, there's coal up here. Holy fuzzy cats. Do we have any coal anywhere? We have 116, 133. Yeah, I don't know if we need this. We can just leave it out, I guess. I just put the wall here. I think that would work just fine. So let's get our wool and building supplies and stuff. Where's our wool? Here is one wall. I probably need to just do huh, several walls. Come on. Oops, I put the wrong one there. Let's put this here. Instead, let's just get that, that out of there. Put this one here instead. And as we're going along, let me put in some uh, radars. Radars are always good. Come on, bots, please. Oh, they're all recharging. They're all having a tea break. No. And radars again. Put it right there. Get our stuff to come up and meet it instead. That will be nice. Come on, bots. Please recharge. Okay, apparently I have to just collect stuff from them. Nice. Okay. These also need to be fixed. Alright. Pick up these two guys. There we go. Now then. And all the way to the sea. Oh, this is going to be such peace of mind for us. Now we don't have to worry about any of this, I think, unless biters are really sneaking come around this way, which is kind of unlikely. We also need to build the receiving stations here, and I think I want to do that before I leave. I, I think that would be a really good idea to just build the stations, uh, maybe put them off to the side here and get the, uh, yeah, get our supply stations put down. These places also are going to need the repair uh, robo ports. So let's put one here. There and one over here. And we're going to get out our wall repair station. This is kind of a funny thing because this is very much like a building station that I build typically um, because it has combinators that control the outputs of what we're going to build or what we're going to take out of the train, I should say. So let's build one. I know I'm going to use a blueprint, but I'm going to go over the um, items in the blueprint very carefully. The reason why I'm going to use a blueprint because I've forgotten the uh, conditions on the combinators and it's more coherent if I just use that. Um, but we'll get this out of here and it should be in my rails blueprint. Let's see. Do we have a wall thingy majingy? Aha! BTD outpost. That I think, aha, here's our wall repair station. That's what we want. So what I've done is I have a loop that control, that allows the train just to come in and go out. Very short train is needed, not big at all. And we can put this, yeah, we'll put it right here. That's just fine. And then these robo ports can connect. Oops, too close to existing rail signal. All right, it's picky, apparently. Okay. So then we're going to look, we need a, an arithmetic combinator and a filter inserter. Very important to get these in. No, we don't have any, huh? Really? Oh my God. We can't build this because we have no copper. Wow. All right. Okay, game, fine. How much copper do we need? 10, 
10 copper. This is silly, but uh, we might have to actually do this. Do I have any furnaces on me? Am I seriously going to have to make a furnace? Wow. All right. Okay, it's fine. This is like, um, you know, surviving in the wilderness. It'll be okay. Let's build a couple of stone furnaces. Uh, well, five should do. That's fine. And we will get a few miners as well. Or do I have any miners on me? Yeah, I have nine. Okay, great. That's more than five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and there's a tree in the middle of that one, which kind of spoiled my my plot, plot, plot plans, but it's okay. Um, where did those furnaces go? Oh, yes, they're auto-trashed as well. How <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, now these guys are going to be, you know, one miner can feed two furnaces, but that's okay. We're going to use solid fuel for now. We really don't need much fuel in these things. I'm just going to take this over to actually take that and take a long distance power pole instead of picking up 10 million small ones later and get those working. And we're going to get some copper plates. Oh yes. This is so silly. But I feel, yes, that we somehow need to do this. Oh, we need another filter inserter. Good, we checked. Okay, get that one made. And a constant combinator, which apparently we need more copper plates for. <laughs> I'm highly amused by this. And of course, we have no robots at the moment either. But we will see. Storage chest. Good, good. And we'll have... Um, all right, so it looks like we have rocks and... Is that it? Rocks going there? And that's that's all? I think we should have... Uh, we need to probably change this up a little bit. We need to change it slightly. Or... Okay, now we have a little bit of copper. Let's make our constant combinator. We need at least two of those. A couple... We need the arithmetic one. Yep. There we go. And we have some copper stuff. We now have 70 copper plates. Hooray. All right. Um, I think this one also needs to get wood. Perhaps. Or no. Maybe wood. I don't know. For bots to... I'm not sure why we have that there, to be honest. But um, the other thing is, if we walk by one of these stations, it might take stuff from us. So I'm wondering if we should put it in a provider chest instead. And then we'll have... Yeah, we're, we're going to change this a little bit. We're going to do a provider chest here. And then we'll have this one being a storage chest. And storage chests can just dump sort of junk into this train. And I think that's going to go in the second... A cargo wagon. So we'll put that one on this side here. All right. So the way this works is we have uh, the chest, which is connected to a combinator, which is connected to a constant combinator. Let me just press alt. And you can see here's the constant combinator. Here's the arithmetic combinator. And here is the inserter. So the constant combinator is looking for these items. And this is how many we're ordering from the train. This is how many we want to be put in the passive provider chest. And I think I'm going to turn those numbers down a little bit. We only really need like 50 walls. We'll have like maybe, maybe 25 turrets. 10 gates is a lot. Maybe five. We probably don't need any. And 50 robots is good to have. Uh, they can be in the box and then we can have some in the system here. And these are going to say, okay, if T is less than 100, and T here is total construction bots. I think I think 100 is a little bit much, but in other, in other stations, it's going to be maybe enough. I don't know. That seems okay. And then we'll have 50 extra backup because the biters might kill some of them in bad locations. So this is how many we're ordering from the train, and we need lots of repair packs. Um, and remember that the train doesn't come here all the time. Usually I set the train on a circuit to come around here. So the way this thing works is items are put into the chest. So for example, uh, if we have, I don't know, 50 walls, let's put in 25 walls here. 
and take them there. So what this does is this takes the amount of stuff and it outputs a negative number as in each times minus one. So it's like, okay, we have this many, add it to the combinator thing. So then this guy is only gonna pick out 25 more. And when this, when the signals get to zero, uh, the inserter is not gonna pick out anymore. And the way that works is whatever has a positive number, it needs one or more in other words, um, and that's why it's set filters on this number here that it's sending. Um, that's what it's going to choose to to, to to take out of the train. Uh, and if the number reaches zero or negative, the filter is going to disappear here. Uh, oh, this is nice. There's now a blacklist thing. Oh, that's quite tasty. Isn't that nice? So anyway, um, the filter inserter can only have um, five filters at a time. So hopefully you can fulfill one of these things. Um, and then it will ask for the others because we have more than five things here, as you see. And it doesn't matter what order they're put in. I think that the filter inserter chooses them by item ID, which is not changeable in the game. At least that's how it has been. So um, this is this is a really nice little thing to uh, to get stuff from your train and not overload your storage boxes, not have a billion storage boxes, one for each type of product. This neatly and cleanly just picks out the stuff that you're ordering from this constant combinator. So anyway, that's how this whole thing works. I'm going to copy this um, blueprint. Let's just, um, I guess I'll copy this whole thing here and shift click it. And we're going to take this thing off. And I think that's enough. Um, yep. Say, okay. And then we're just going to put that into our blueprint library and then delete the other one that we have since it's not quite as nice as well. We've just changed all the conditions and stuff here. So let's see, where did the other one go? Hello? Um, oh, how did that mall, did the mall blueprint get out of here? This is very strange. Did it completely delete it from my library? I hope not. Is this, is the other one here? Yes, this one is here. Wall repair is here. I don't know what happened to the blueprint though. Did we just clear it somehow? I'm not quite sure what happened there. Malls. Okay, so the mall, main mall is there. Yes. Okay. Great. Good. This is where did the other one go? That is so strange. I don't see it. Maybe I'm just not looking in the right place. Wait, that one. That one. That one. Yo. 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 Okay, it has disappeared. Maybe I just took it out of the library and then didn't actually place it. Uh, I'm not quite sure. But anyway, let's just take our train and without fuel, we can't go anywhere. Let's go and find. Let's get these things back. Oh, geez. Okay, we have now overloaded ourselves on copper. We have tons. That was not ideal. Okay, I should have left them here, I guess. Let the bots clean it up. Ah, but what we can do is we can leave junk for the next universe. So the bots will um if we put logi bots over here they will take junk from us and i think we should probably ask for them so let's ask for logistics bots as well and get maybe 50 of them um and this we probably need a filter inserter as well because, yeah, okay, here, let's change the number here to 50. Okay, enter. And this one. Hmm, yeah, we want to change that one to a filter inserter instead. So this one can take, this one's going to take the available, um, Total construction bots and then logistics bots is Y. So this is filtering construction bots. And then we'll have one filtering. Oh no, this is really badly placed. 
I'm gonna get this and move it there instead. All right, connect this one there. Okay, it kept its condition, which is really nice. We'll have this one over here. And this one is gonna copy paste there and connect it again with the red wire. Logistics bots is Y. Okay, so if T is, if Y, I think we want like, I don't know, 50 logistics bots. We don't really need a lot. Y, Y, less than 50. Um, and then this is going to be only for logistics bots. Okay, and then we'll get another filter inserter over here and just say you take logistics bots out of the chest. So it's going to place them on the ground, uh, essentially, just so I can use one robo port and one box. <laughs> so that's not ideal, but it's okay. It's, it, it's going to work. And that's the important thing is this is going to work and we can dump uh, more junk. Oh, uh, okay. Into the chest here. Um, yep. Wish there was a way to just like Oh, it just keeps flowing, doesn't it? All right. I don't want to put that much copper in there. But all this stuff can go back to the base as we get trains to carry it back. Should be fine. All right. Okay, so that is that. Let me make another blueprint uh, instead because we've now again changed the circuit conditions. Don't want to have to redo all that stuff. That's that's the important part about blueprints is just not having to redo stuff. All right, and say okay. And we'll put this in our blueprint book here. And let's make our way down. Now, I think we, we still have some fuel, which is great. We'll take the train wherever it is. There it is. I thought the train was supposed to be over here. I was looking for it there. Let's see. Train, train. There you are. Let's reverse this. Good. Fuel stuff. Hello. Good, good, good. Now, we will go down to the other station real quick. Oh, and you know what? I forgot to press or to place radars along this route. That's one of my, my things that I always forget is the radar. Radar stations. Okay. Um, right. Now we place that lovely blueprint, which <laughs> probably doesn't fit this area very well. Let's see. Oh, it does. Oh, it does actually fit here. That's nice. Except for the part where we have not enough landfill. That's not ideal. No. We could landfill that part with... Oh, I hate using landfill though. No. How much does it cost? Oh, we can make one right now. I shouldn't have left that stone in the other area. How much does it cost? 20 stone. All right. Let's see if that's enough. Otherwise, we can go and mine a few rocks. Those naughty rocks that we see around. Um, yeah, let's see. Can we place this blueprint here? Needs to be probably that square there. This one. Does that fit? Let me make a couple of more inserters while we're waiting on my ability to queue this thing. Where the heck did it go? There it is. Train track thingy. Oh no, we need probably one more. Alright, let's go and mine some stone. That has 22. Mine another stone. It has another 22. Okay, so... Here we go, regretting possibly. <laughs> we have too much stone. Too many rocks on the landscape. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's how this works. It's like, it's too many until you need it. That's, I think, always the way it goes. But in any case, we have this stuff going on here. Do we have all of this stuff? Yeah, I think we have everything. Okay, so this is going to work too. And all we need now is the base station where we can, um, uh, 
we can put all this stuff into chests and have it delivered out here. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.